what does it say? A does 20 percentage less work than B. Now, you need to understand this statement properly. As such, it says that A does 20 percentage less work than C. But something by default or something which should be taken for granted is A does 20 percentage less work than B in a given time. You are able to follow. This part is not given, but you have to understand that in a given time. Right? For example, A can, uh, you know, B can do a piece of work, let's say, in 10 days. A will be able to do only 80% of that in 10 days. Because A works 20 percentage less than B. So if B can work 100 percentage in X days, B, A will work only 80 percentage in those X days. Right? So this you must understand carefully. That A does 20 percentage less than, less work than B means his capacity is 20 percentage less than that of B. Right? A's capacity. Capacity you know is capital A. Is equal to 80 percent of B's capacity. A's capacity is 80 percent of B's capacity. You know that capacity and time are reciprocal to each other. If A's capacity is 80 percent of B's capacity, time required by B will be 80 percent of time required by A. Generally what do we do? If A is equal to times B, is A, if A's capacity is twice B's capacity, then time required by B will be two times the time required by A. Capital letters, capacity, small letters, time. Always we have been doing this, right? Or what do we do here? Capacity is double. That means time required to be half. Time required by A will be half of time required by B. Actually, this is the case, but which implies B is equal to 2A. Let's say A's capacity is thrice B's capacity. A is equal to 3B. Implies time required by A will be one third of time required by B. Which means B is equal to 3A. So the idea is, if in terms of capacity A is equal to 3B, in terms of time B will be equal to 3A. In terms of capacity, if A is equal to 2B, then in, in, in terms of capacity A equals to 2B, then in terms of time B will be equal to 2A. That coefficient shifts on the other side. Because they are reciprocal, right? This is capacity equation, these are capacity equations, and these are time equations. So the coefficient shifts. So here what happens? A's capacity is 80% of B's capacity. Implies time taken by B is 80% of time taken by A. Now, A can finish a piece of work in 7.5 hours, then B will do it in how many hours? A can finish it in 7.5 hours. Substitute here. So, B's time required will be 80% of 7.5. How much is that? 6 hours. 80% of 7.5 hours is 6 hours, which is option C here. So, nothing to be done on paper, right? If you are smart enough, you will understand that if A does 20% less, uh, less work than B, A's capacity is only 80% of B's capacity, which means B's time is 80% of A's time. 80% of 7.5 is 6 hours. So within 5 to 8 seconds, you should be able to mark the answer for this question without putting pen on paper. So that's about it. Let's look at the next question. 